Hey YouTube. I got another project. I want to show you how to turn this into this. It's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> well, it's not that it's actually not that hard to turn to get these from that to this. Not that bad. You don't need too much. You need to source a good pair. You need to source a pair of calipers that are low case. So if you can get to a wreckers and find a pair of calipers, R56 calipers, it'll go a long way because then the piston and the... Um, oh, these do blackies, whatever the heck they're called. <laughs> Tell me, they'll be okay. So what you'll need is the greaser, use that. You'll need lots of uh, spray to clean it. Um, you'll need caliper paint, uh, preferably red. I went and bought caliper paint that I thought was red, and it's actually orange. Started to spray it, the darn thing was orange. Like, what the freak? Although, you read the back, and it does say real orange. Mm. So, after that, you need clear or both heat resistant. It needs to be caliper paint, it needs to be paint that's capable of doing about 500 degrees Celsius, 900 degrees Fahrenheit. And essentially all you do is <clears throat> you take your calipers, you've got to clean them to get at them. Let me show you. You just take this bolt out, this bolt out, And the calipers come apart. There's one caliper section and another one. Then you take these out here. These just clip out on both sides. You can take these right out if you want. You can check on them, see if they've got their greased and they're still in good. The rubbers are good. These ones are good actually, so I didn't change them. I don't plan to. Uh, if they were worn, I would. You paint it, essentially. You paint it about three, four coats. Same with this, you could take the, the piston out. However, I just taped around it. I took this off, taped around the bleeder. And the other thing you do, you'll need, and I got these from the UK, these are uh, stickers. Uh, you need, I've got rear ones, and I've got, that's a front one, and a rear one, rear sticker, and they basically go straight on, so you do your three coats of colour onto the calipers, then you put your sticker on, and then you put a clear coat really finely over the top. Uh, you let it dry, another fine coat over the top, let it dry, another fine coat over the top, and... So that's it, and you put it back together again. Not that bad. So it's hot enough to paint, so I'm going to put a caliper sticker on the caliper. I've just got the other one here next to it. To make sure I get it lined up the same way. You just peel it off. It's the back layer. Get it lined up. I just put it on lightly just so I can get the sides balanced. It's not quite right. Basically went online and I had a look to see where, literally where the R was on the caliper, how close it came down to the caliper for the JCW brakes, just so I got it right, as right as I could. No, oh, that's not quite right. <laughs> and I'm just looking at the distance here, distance here. It's gonna be just on the edge, it literally is on the edge as it comes down. That's perfect, similar to the other one. 
So they're basically the same. So it sucks it down, it comes right on the edge. The JCW ones are right up to the edge and they come the same distance either side, like that, so I know it's straight. I'll put that aside, stick it down. And this is where, apply a bit of pressure and just rub it down like that. Because we peel this off and it'll leave it. It's like a lot of vinyl stickers. And then we spray over the top. Honestly, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't all have to be sucked down. And remember that it's all bumpy, the surface of the caliper anyway. It doesn't matter. So that's good. Strip it off. Leaves the sticker. And just rub it down a bit more. Don't want that coming up. And then take it off. That's better. I don't want to see it pull away as I peel it off. Okay, there you go. Now, clear coat. Yeah. I'll do these as well. I only do the top the top bit here. I might flip it over. I'll do the back. But it's not as important. Do a light coat first. Just so it doesn't bubble. And that is it, the first coat. I think we're spraying the idea of light, light, light is the way to go. So I am going to leave that and then come back once it's dried off a bit and I'll do another coat. Then I'll do another and another. Okay, so it's about five degrees in Melbourne. It's freaking freezing, so I can't do the last coat of paint. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to just give you some tips. Some of the lessons learned along the way with this the first tip would be cleaning. You gotta do it a number of times, get it right, don't cut corners. You gotta keep getting all that grime off. Um, all these little holes you gotta get into. Check this out, all this stuff here, you gotta get into it or else the paint will look crap. Um, I know that by, I started, I did one coat and it just went all crap and bubbly and horrible because you could, you know, the oil and grit was coming through. Um, so clean, 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 clean. Do three, four coats, use degreaser, I used a spray and I used a um, sort of like a domestic, cl a domestic cleaner. Um, you do it over and over, get it right. That's tip one for sure. Next one is take the caliper off. I mean, I've seen many people try and paint these calipers with it on the car and they tape it around and they cover everything and they do the paint, one or two coats. They certainly don't do clear coats. And it looks okay if you don't get close. And first time you, you use a, a pressure cleaner on your brake calipers, paint's probably gonna come off. And remember, these things get damn hot, particularly if you want to take it on a track. So that's, I don't think it's a good idea. So take your calipers off. Tips there, there's this bolt here. You see the bolt here, the bolt here. They are a bugger to get off. And I've got to tell you, you um, my impact wrench came in handy there. So those two bolts there, those particular ones, they are nasty. They are nasty tight. I would be investing in an impact wrench. Low setting, uh, but it'll it'll come off easy. And that's that's what I did there. What else have we got? So I've talked about the multiple coats. You need multiple coats for sure. For these, because I wanted it to look as legit as possible as John Cooper, I use these stickers. And I've sh showed you these before. Look, these uh, are sensational. I didn't realize they'd look as good as they do. But if you check it out, they you put the sticker on 
and it sits sort of proud of the caliper but as soon as you put one coat of the clear over it, it kind of sucks it down and you do a light coat you make sure you don't do a heavy coat if you do a heavy coat apparently these can curl up if you go too heavy so do a real light mist to start with let it dry and then you do about three four light coats and it sucks it down and it looks like this check this out look at that that is sensational looks awesome so that that'll be a tip there if you're going to use some um, stickers and use you have to use high temp you've got to use this stuff caliper paint high temp and that that'll work it's good it goes up to 482 degrees celsius 900 degrees fahrenheit so you need that as well um what else have we got so when you get the calipers apart the other thing to check is the condition of the rubbers so and and the actual pistons so if you've got them out have a look at it if you need to rebuild kit then get one um, better still my advice would be to check for a low kilometer pair of calipers off a, off a car that you know off a wrecker that you know has had you know 50,000 k's or less if you can get one of those these come off a car that was I think 70,000 uh, 50 70,000 can't remember now they were I considered them pretty low and they're in really good condition so I don't have to do anything about the rubbers uh, no rebuild kits that's good uh, what else that's probably about it oh no one other thing so <laughs> this is evidence of well, lesson learned so check this out you see here that is because I didn't listen to my own advice um, and I tried to do too many coats too quick so I did one coat flipped it over thought it was dry, dry and the weight of the caliper on the paper put, took a, uh, some of the newspaper off right onto my freaking car caliper. And you can't see, it's on the back of the caliper, but I know it's there and it's freaking annoying. Huh. <laughs> uh, that's about it. Just a bit of an update on progress. So we're really, we're ne nearly ready to go. Just need a bit hotter so the paint will dry. Catch you soon. See ya. Hey guys, hopefully that's helped you. If you're thinking of converting some Cooper S R56 brakes to JCW R53 brakes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya. Stop recording. Stop recording. Stop recording.